Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Um, it's I need to do a couple of videos. One of them being on simple maintenance for this little machine right here, the CT125, and then uh, my valuation on 500 kilometers on this machine. So I'm going to do the simple little maintenance stuff on it today, but hey, it's lunchtime and I need to take this bike and, and go to a restaurant and get me something to eat for lunch. So, oh, video's gonna have to wait. So, talk to y'all later. Okay, folks, uh, before I get started on this video in earnest, uh, first off, I have to thank every single one of you who have subscribed to my channel. Uh, if you've noticed in the last couple of three months, I have not asked for anybody to subscribe. I have not asked for anybody to hit the like button or to share these videos. And the reason being is I don't really feel we need to do this. But on this part right here, I need to thank every single one of you that have subscribed to this channel. Because you have made it possible for me to hit a goal that I wanted to hit. And that was 1,000 subscribers. So for this... I thank every single one of you who have subscribed to the channel, and uh, <laughs> I appreciate the heck out of it. Thank you very much. Okay, folks, I'm back from lunch. Took the took the little Honda CT125, went and got a nice meal. Here's what the bike looks like. Getting ready for maintenance. Now, first thing you got to do is get lazy dog out of the way but do a good wash job on the bike yeah i mean it's not that big of a deal to take a little bucket of water and some sp and a sponge and some soap and and wash your bike that's the first thing i do on getting ready to do maintenance now <coughs> when you're doing the wash job and cleaning things up you'll notice if something's wrong with the machine now personally i came up here and i had i had checked the o-rings and everything on on filling this up with oil and what i'd done was this fill tube right here evidently i had it to where it was this part of the the cap was ang angled like this and what it did was had a little engine blow by and when the engine pressures up it'll blow uh, a little bit of oil out any place it's that's not sealed up real good mm -hmm. and that little spot was se not sealed up really good so i took it apart took it off cleaned out the old ring and all that stuff there was maybe a little bit of dirt in there and put it back in <coughs> another thing that i did that i said i was going to do two videos ago and that was take the center stand off if you look down here you see there's not something hanging clear back here like this especially on this side you don't see that hanging back over here but what we do have is this little piece right here now that's the the carrier part that holds the center stand on there uh, it comes with a comes with a shaft pin that has a cotter key on it that holds that in there and then of course the the center stand itself has a very strong spring that holds it up to the close to the swing arm this is the spring that I'm talking about and it sets something like that here is the center stand and I'm going to show you on the center stand what hangs up underneath and that's this piece right here where I point right here where my thumbs at if you look at that if if you go over something and it's solid it's gonna hang up on that piece right there and that's exactly what hung up on me not once not twice but three times twice on rocks once on a little ledge and that was enough for me to decide I don't need the kicks the center stand because I to be honest with you I don't use it 
So if you look now at the bike and you look back up underneath here, there's nothing from the back of the engine all the way up to the to the swing arm. There is nothing there that the machine can't roll over. And that was the whole idea of taking that off. Now, that's what you get when you wash the vehicles. You get to check things out. And little stuff like like that air blowing through on that, that plug showed me that I had an air leak in there that I needed to take care of. And I went ahead and tightened it up on this time. Now, <clears throat> this is the first time in just a tad under 500 kilometers that I've had to adjust the chain on it. Now, if you're gonna adjust this chain on this, what you need is a 10 millimeter bolt or a wrench, a, a 12 meter, millimeter wrench, a 14 millimeter wrench, and on this side, yes folks, that's a 19 millimeter wrench. So you need those four wrenches, and what you do is you loosen up the 10 millimeter wrench nut here on this side, 10 millimeter wrench nut on this side and back those up and I mean back them up quite a bit to where they're setting back here then you put your 14 millimeter wrench on that nut or bolt and take your 19 and put it on this and you loosen up with the 19 millimeter wrench until you get this to where it's, it's loose but not really loose it, you want it still tight enough that it's holding things together then you can take your 12 millimeter wrench and you put it on that inside nut and you can go quarter turn quarter turn go over here a quarter turn quarter turn and folks that's all I had to tighten this chain up to get it to where it's tight now you can sit back here and look at this and you go well god that looks loose as I'll get out but I'm going to show you the proper way to check that out Put your weight down on the in on this back of the machine and then go well that's not near as loose as what it looked like earlier so <coughs> that folks is how you adjust the chain on any bike not just this bike any bike so That's what I did to adjust the chain. And this is at just a tad under 500 kilometers. First time I've had to adjust this chain. So another thing that people overlook is you take a screwdriver, just a simple little screwdriver, and you come over to your spokes, and as long as you got that nice little ping, ping, ping all the way around, your spokes are tight. If you get a thud, then you need to adjust that spoke. If you notice, no thuds. I don't have to adjust any spokes on here. And that, folks, pretty much is some simple maintenance that you need to do on your, your bike. And that's going to be the end of this video. Uh, it's not much, but... It's stuff you need to do on a regular basis. In other words, when you get through off a ride, I don't care if it's 80 kilometers, 60 kilometers, 200 kilometers. When you get done with the ride, wash your machine. It will tell you whether or not you have problems. You'll see stuff that's not normal on there. And then sit back and, and check your adjustment on your chain. Lube it if need, need be. Check your spokes. Check your oil level. And it should be pretty much maintenance free so hope you all enjoyed this video and uh yeah i'll talk to y'all later